Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a Jamaica advertising lighter. Kind of thing you might have got in an airport duty free shop, maybe, or roadside stop. This is branded Revolt on the windscreen there. And the bottom is stamped made in Austria. has a blue faux reptile skin that's still in very good condi uh, condition. The plastic or uh, nylon, whatever it's made out of. Um, and is adorned on each side with this side a map of Jamaica. And on this side with some sort of symbol or logo or coat of arms. Very nice condition. I believe it was unstruck for a few moments ago. And doesn't show a whole lot of damage. I mean, this might might be as close to mint conditional lighter as I've ever had. For one that was bought in a lot of used junk. Um, but, as I said, it's branded Revolt and U.S. patent pending. But if you're familiar with old cigarette lighters, you will definitely see some compar some similarities to Champ, which was made in Austria. So I have a feeling maybe these came from the same factory. These windscreens are a little bit different in these inserts, but actually have the same features as you'll see. So here's our Revolt Jamaica lighter. And then here is the Champ, which I did that video a couple of years ago. Um, you'll see it has just the regular hold windscreen. Get these facing the right direction here. Regular holes, like you see, this one is more slotted. I would guess that um, I'm certain I have seen Champ one lighters inserts branded Champ that have the square slotted um, or more rectangular slotted windscreen and just my general impression would be that that the square came after, or the slotted came after the one with holes in it. But I could be wrong, and I don't have another example of the other champ here to show you, so 
that would all just be conjecture. But as you can see on the champ and on this made in Austria revolt, they swing up to give you more ready access to the wick if you need to pull that up do some uh, manicuring of your wick have very similar if not identical base plates and uh, flint spring screws The only thing is the one that was in the champ lighter, it, I don't believe it's got any markings at all. But champ are very sturdy, very good lighters. Um, in the same class, I'd put them in the same class as a Zippo. Oh, before I put that back in there, let's take a look at the... As you see, these use a little bit different spring system here and the pressure being applied there as opposed to the way the Zippo works with the cam spring system and these are slightly different but really only there at the top So anyway, you know, like I said, I haven't fueled that one up in a good while, but I would put these lighters in the same class as a Zippo, I believe from around the same time period, maybe the, maybe they came back, came out shortly after. This is a really cool and still in very good condition. I would say minor wear. And if I hadn't wanted to make this comparison video with the um, Champ Austria lighter, I might otherwise have uh, foregone this functioning lighter video and just listed this one as never struck. My priority these days is to the videos, so so that's where we went. Chrome plated with a synthetic faux reptile. wrap adorn in Jamaican advertising if you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters ashtrays tabacchiana and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you are watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send that off in a text, email, share it on social media, however it is that you communicate with people nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves. Uh, leave any comments or questions below. We would also appreciate it if you would like us across all the social media platforms, like and follow us across all the social media platforms. That would include Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay uh, 
Until next time.